So we are here at the European Bamboo Expo. We have here Bamboo Uganda with Thomas again. Hello, Thomas. Hi. Uh, we're going to talk about the um, process of um, the CO2 storage, right? Exactly. You have a fantastic um, presentation you had before, which I missed. So thank you for explaining it again. <laughs> yeah, so we. We're looking a bit at the carbon cycle to see what the actual impact is of bamboo. And we developed, we think that bamboo is a unique product for, in certain ways, and we think it deserves its own carbon credit platform. Um, and what makes bamboo so unique uh, is basically the, the bamboo cycle. So in the first place, bamboo is a very fast growing uh, plant. So it means that it can capture a lot of carbon in a short amount of time. So, in building up a forest from scratch, you basically sequester a lot of carbon. Uh, a lot of uh, carbon. Um, but for bamboo, in 12 years, you actually have maximized almost your full carbon potential. When your forest is actually mature, uh, with bamboo poles, they start decomposing. Uh, after five, six years, they dry out and decompose within the clumps. That means that from 12 years onwards, it's kind of a, a zero sum game. Um, so, but what makes bamboo so interesting is that you can cut those poles before they dry out. And then we come to the sustainable harvesting part. So, if you harvest a bamboo forest, you harvest it 25% uh, of your forest every year. So you have cycles of four years. And in these four years, you basically cut down the whole forest, meaning that it's the equivalent of that full mature forest. So if you have in 12 years captured 20 tons, in four years you will have cut down these 20 tons and put it uh, in, into long-term products or put it back into the ground through biochar. So, it's important to understand that the impact of bamboo in growing it is something, but actually, after 12 years, you, have, you, you, you store every year the equivalent of that forest uh, into those products. So that means that every four years, uh, yeah, you basically capture that carbon. When you compare that to wood, um, storage of carbon in wood products, they always talk about the 30-year cycle. So this 30-year cycle is based on wood because it means that a, a tree, it grows for an average 30 years, then you chop it down, so your products, they need to last that long in order to have a little bit of, of gains. Um, with bamboo, if you follow that logic, you could say that your bamboo only needs to last for four years. Or if it lasts for 30 years, that means that you have more than seven times the impact of uh, a, a wood forest. Um, so we, with Bamboo Uganda, we focus on, uh, on, on four uh, main products. Laminated timber for construction materials, uh, which can last for, for a very long time. We focus on composite materials as well, also long-term storage, and the construction with four poles. Laminated with is this one, right? Yes. Can yes. Show. So, so we're now working on gluing additional layers of this to make structural beams that can replace steel and, and awesome. really make like... Uh, construction uh, materials or you can do flooring as well uh, so this is classic flooring where you can stick together piece by piece exactly and you Just get a perfect size. floor exactly awesome yeah and this um, is currently all done with bambusa vulgaris right i mean this is the amazing part yeah yeah exactly that's <laughs> I mean, everything we do is with bambusa vulgaris at the moment there's a lot of asper in the ground so in a couple of years we will transit probably to an asper which is more commercially interesting um that's the full uh, cycle. Carbon, carbon cycle and because of the specificity um, at the moment uh, carbon credits is quite complex you have uh, a lot of formulas um, and it's quite an investment in order to get, uh, get the certification yeah. um, so we are looking for a more flexible system in which we can also integrate smaller plantations in which we can work with smallholder farmers 
And our idea is actually that independent firefighters, well, first of all, how independent are they? They are actually paid by the carbon credit companies. Uh, that's one thing. But um, apart from that, I think there's an easier way of, uh, of carbon verification. Um, and the way we want to, we're working now on a platform to set up um, a system where the taxpayer is actually our, our independent verifier. Because what the independent verifiers only do is proof that the plantation is actually there and that plants have grown inside that plantation. So of course we make our plantations uh, traceable, we know where every bamboo comes from, but when it comes to the factory we of course pay the farmer for, the, for, the, uh, for what, what was product. harvested. Yeah, yeah. So if you harvest 20 tons we know exactly how much carbon is in those 20 tons. So the invoice from the taxpayer is actually a proof that that, that, that uh, carbon was harvested from that plantation. But we want to push this even further. We use the whole pole in our four cluster products, what I talked to you about before. Um, and there's easy conversion rates for every product. If you add up this, it comes again to 20 tons. So the invoice uh, we will then get from the buyers of these products is again independently verified by the tax authorities and is again a proof that that bomber was actually harvested. And then we want to push that forward, forward to the client as well so that we know actually where the carbon, who bought the carbon. And in the end, we want to go one step further and see that when, when those pro products are no longer useful, if we use green glues, we can actually turn those products then into biochar and put that biochar back into the soil, making that whole circle uh, complete. And you're the only ones right now having this like uh, approach, right? As far as I know, we are we are the only ones who came up with this very simple idea. Yeah. Um, Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best, right? That's 100% <laughs> where I believe in. Cool. Uh, we need to simplify things. A huge added advantage of this system is that it doesn't matter how big your plantation is, because as the moment you start selling to our company and we've mapped out your farm, uh, you are integrated in this system. Another added thing is when you listen carefully to the story I told before about the carbon cycle, mm -hmm. if you don't have buyers for your harvest and a plantation is not being harvested, in our platform we can red flag it and say like, we need buyers because otherwise we're gonna lose carbon. Yeah. Uh, and so it can become also a marketplace for, for, for selling these kind of things. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well. And then on the underside, of course, we want to do the carbon footprinting so that along every step of the way, we know how much carbon got lost by transport, by harvesting and all these kind of things in order for the, 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 the buyer to actually also know what the actual footprint is of its product. So by Beautiful. making this whole value chain transparent, we, in my opinion, we don't longer need independent verifiers because the tax authorities are doing it. You can save that money because we already have everything clear and there. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. So Thank we you. are looking for partners who are on this side, who are interested in this story, who are willing to cooperate with us, who are willing to be transparent in what they are doing in order to make this happen. There we go. Bamboo Uganda. Where is the logo? Here we go.